piano. When I was little, I wanted to play the piano. So Mummy took me for a piano lesson. The piano lesson was in a big music school where lots of people learned music. My piano teacher was Mr Tonka. When Mr Tonka played his piano, he played all the notes together very fast. Now, do you want to learn to play the piano? Yes, I said. So, so Mr Tonka showed me the all the notes. The low note. Well done. The middle note. This one? Yeah. And the high note. That one? Yeah, that one. Well done. I played all the notes together, like Mr. Tonka. OK, why don't you come back next week and we can learn about the going up notes and the going down notes. We'll look forward to that, Mr. Tonka. Come OK, take. see you next week. Bye-bye. And my next piano lesson Mr. Tonka was in his tiny room playing one of his pianos. How are you doing? I've written some notes on a page. Mr. Tonka had written me some music dots. The music dots went up and down. Let's see if we can play a scale. Now. You want to try that? I play the notes up like the dots. That's great. Okay. I didn't want to play the note one by one anymore. I played the notes all together, like Mr. Tonka. Take next time, next say Mr. Tonka, to we'll get the notes named. These notes. When I went for my piano lesson again, Mr. Tonka was very excited. Hello, come and sit down. Oh. Look what I've been doing for you. He had pictures for the notes. An apple, a ball, a cat. See if you can play the apple note. Play me the apple note, said Mr. Tonka. I didn't want to play the apple note. I played all the notes, like Mr. Tonka. I've just got to go. Mr. Tonka left. Dick, you have to listen to what Mr. Tonka asks you to do. I know how to do the piano. No, I said. I want to play all the notes together. I played some more, but the notes didn't sound quite right. Hey, Tig, whee! It might be fun playing all the notes together, but some notes don't sound nice together. Some notes sound better by themselves. If you play each note by itself, you can play a tune. Half a pound of tuppenny rice Half a pound of treacle. When Mr Tonka plays the piano, it might look like he's playing all the notes, but Mr Tonka plays only the notes he needs. Mr Tonka listened to his teacher and learnt what notes to play. Go for it, Tig! Whee! Listen to Mr Tonka and learn how to play the piano. Yes, I thought. I want to learn to play the piano, so I'll listen to Mr. Tonka and do what he tells me. When Mr. Tonka came back, he told me how to play a tune. We played the tune together. Mr. Tonka teaching me. I like going to my piano lessons. I love Willy. We've been getting since we were three. The mountain. When I was little, Daddy told me a story about how he climbed a mountain. He and Granny took sandwiches. I want to climb the mountain. I said, it's a long way to the top, said Daddy. We could take sandwiches, I said. Maybe, said Daddy. So one day, Daddy took me to climb the mountain. We drove the car round a big lake. 
We stopped at the bottom of the mountain. And sandwiches for when we get to the top. All wrapped up. Willie came too. We're going up the mountain. Are you ready, Tig? Yep. Ready, I said. And off we Let's went to climb the mountain. You excited? The mountain was very tall. The mountain was very steep. Up and up we climbed. I like climbing the mountain. When we looked down the mountain, the big lake didn't look big anymore. Can I have a sandwich? I said. Not yet, said Daddy. We'll have them at the top. Just one, I said. OK, wipe your hands. Tomato, OK. I like the tomato sandwiches best. There you go, just one sandwich, OK? Up the mountain we climbed again. The mountain was very steep. The mountain was very tall. Up and up we went. I like climbing the mountain, but I was tired. When we looked down the mountain, the big lake was small. Can I have another sandwich? Tig, there'll be none left. Please, I said. Just one. I eat another tomato sandwich. I love the tomato sandwiches. Up the mountain we climbed again. The mountain was very steep. The mountain was very tall. Up and up we went. I didn't like climbing the mountain anymore. I was very tired. Can I have another sandwich? Another sandwich, but look the top. There's the top of the mountain, said Daddy. Just one last climb and we'll be there. Please. This is the last tomato sandwich, OK? I ate the last tomato sandwich. And then we can go to the top. Come on, said Daddy. Let's go. What? No, I said. No more tomato sandwiches. I want to go home. OK, I'll have my egg sandwiches and then we can go home. I was so tired. Hey, Tig, look how far you've climbed. You have come all that long way, so you feel tired. But when you get to the top of the mountain, you'll feel something else. You feel so happy, so pleased, and so proud at standing on the top of the world. Wahey! And Tig, you're nearly there. Look! One more step and another one, two. One more step and another three, four. One more step and you're nearly there. One more step and there's not many more. Go for it, Tig. It feels great to finish what you started. Yes, I thought. I want to finish what I started. I want to go to the top. The mountain was very steep. The mountain was very tall. But then we got to the top. I felt so happy. We could see the sea and the castle and all the big city. When a lady saw Willy, she got a fright. It's only a toy spider. I like climbing mountains. I like climbing to the top. And I love Willy. We've been together since we were three. She climbed into Funny the tummy. Warm as a when I was little, I loved my nursery school. Willy liked my nursery school too. I liked my nursery teacher, Miss Claire. I liked all my friends. We liked playing together. I liked Hashim. Hashim was funny. Hashim got excited a lot. Hashim shouted a lot. Hashim laughed a lot. One day, Hashim pushed me. I didn't like Hashim. I didn't like my nursery school. The next day on the way to nursery school, my tummy hurt. Daddy? Yeah? I have a sore tummy. Whereabouts? All right, come on, I think we should go home. Come on, then. Daddy took me home. 
The next day on the way to nursery school, my tummy hurt again. Daddy. Yeah. I've got a sore tummy. Shall we maybe go and try and see the doctor? Shall we go and see? Come on then. Poor Tig. Tig Jameson, doctor will see you doctor, now. Thank you. Daddy took me to see the doctor. Hello, Tig. Come on in and have a seat. I liked going to the doctor. Now, what can we do for you today? I've got a sore tummy. Oh, dear. The doctor asked me about the pain in my tummy. The doctor said to lie down on a big bed. Just go to lift your top up like this and then have a wee feel of your tummy. The doctor felt my tummy. She listened to my inside. Let's have a wee listen and see what noises your tummy's making. Nothing to worry about, said the doctor. Tell me how you feel tomorrow. I like the doctor. She made my tummy better. Daddy said we can have a fun day together. Daddy took me to a park. Make sure Willie doesn't fly away. After the park, we went to a cafe. We were having fun. How's your sore tummy? said Daddy. Gone, I said. Doctor made it better. Good, said Daddy. Maybe you can go back to nursery school tomorrow. My tummy didn't feel very well again. Hey, Tig, it's not nice when your tummy feels funny. Maybe your tummy feels funny because things are not quite right inside your tummy. But maybe your tummy feels funny because something is worrying you outside. Hey, Tig, something is worrying you outside, isn't it? Hashim, you're worrying about Hashim because he can be a bit rough sometimes. When you have a worry like that, you must tell someone. Tell Miss Claire, tell Daddy. Sharing worries can help other people sort them out for you. Sharing worries will help your tummy feel a whole lot better again. Go for it, Tig. Share your worries and tell Daddy. Yes, I thought. I'll tell Daddy about Hashim. Hashim. Who's he? Um, he's a boy at my nursery. He pushed me. When I told Daddy about Hashim, my tummy didn't feel funny anymore. I told Claire about Hashim too. Yes, Tig? Hashim pushed me. Thank you very much for telling me, Tig. We'll speak about it later, OK? My tummy didn't hurt anymore. When I showed Willie to Hashim... It's only a toy spider. He ran away. I like my nursery school. I like Hashim. I love Willie. We beat guesses to a The wedding. When I was little, I had to go to a big house where my auntie Shona was getting married. Willie came too. Tig, why don't you come and have a look at your dress? There was a dress. It was very pretty. It was my dress. I was a flower girl. Oh, I have a tiara. Isn't it lovely? Yes, Auntie Shona was having her face painted. Mummy helped me put Next. on my dress. Oh, Tig, what a pretty flower girl. Granny said I looked very pretty. Oh, it's so pretty. My Auntie Shona said I looked very, very pretty. Auntie Shona gave me a basket of flower petals. <gasps> Miss Lottie, my dancing teacher, was in charge of the wedding. Good luck. We followed Miss Lottie. There were lots of people in the big room. My friends Timmy and Louise and Mr Tonka and the Giggly Lady and Granny and Mummy had all come to see me. Auntie Shona's boyfriend, Clive, pushed in next to Auntie Shona. Please be seated. Miss Lottie started talking. She talked and talked and talked. I'm happy to officiate her marriage to Clive. When I looked at Granny, 
She was crying. Poor Granny. I didn't want my Granny to cry. So I did my special dance to cheer Granny up. Granny liked my special dance. Granny stopped crying. <laughs> Mummy came along and stopped my dance. <laughs> Mummy said we have to get more pestles. I didn't want to stop my dance. I was having fun. Mummy had spoiled my fun. And everyone else is fun too. I'm just going to get some more petals taken. Whee! Hey, Tig. It's not nice being stopped when you're having fun. But sometimes fun things have to stop so that other important things can be done. At Shona's wedding, the most important thing to be done is for Shona to be married to Clive. Miss Lottie can't marry Shona and Clive while you're doing your lovely dance. So Mummy is only stopping your fun so that Shona and Clive can be married. Hey and Tig, don't worry about Granny. She wasn't sad crying, she was happy crying. Ding, dang, dong, dong, ding, dang, dong, dong. So go for it, Tig. Help to make Shona's day a happy, happy wedding day. Be a good flower girl and throw some petals. Whee! Yes, I thought. I am important. I'm the flower girl. But the most important of all is Shona. I'm going to make Shona's day the best day ever. I threw petals all over the floor. Auntie Shona was so happy. When Clive saw Willie, he got a fright. We all had a party. There was lots of dancing. I like being a flower girl. I like to make everyone happy. I love Wooly. We Holding hands. When I was little, I liked my nursery school. Different things happened every day. One day, Miss Claire, my nursery teacher, took us all to the gym at the big school. Now we need to make sure we all hold hands at all times. We held hands. I held hands with Louise. Now we're going to cross some roads, said Miss Claire. We had to look and listen for the traffic. We held hands and waited for the green man. The traffic stopped. And the green man came on. Cross. Hold hands and straight across the road. And keep looking, said Miss Claire. What do we do? When we came to another road, there was no green man. Take extra care, said Miss Claire. We'll find a safe place where we can see all the roads. When there was no traffic, Miss Claire down. said it was safe to cross. Hold hands and straight across the road. And keep looking, yeah, no, said Miss Claire. The big school was big. The gym was big too. There was lots of room to play. Claire made an obstacle course. On the way back, we crossed all the roads again. I looked and listened and held hands. I did everything Claire told me. After school, my daddy came to collect me, to take me to the library. Daddy! <gasps> Miss Claire told daddy that I'd been very grown up and sensible at crossing the roads. Come on then, so do you have fun? I felt pleased. I felt like a big girl. Get her. I'll take my hand. No. Why not? Because I'm a big girl. 
Who with my hand? said Daddy. No, I said. Take. When the green man turned to green, Daddy picked me up and carried me across the road. We came to another road. Right, Tig, we need to cross the road. Take my hand, please. No. Hold my Why hand. Not? Daddy picked me Come up on. and carried me straight okay. across the road. Right. I was not happy. Roads, okay? In Come the on. library, I was cross. Do you want to choose a book, choose said a book. Daddy. No. No, I said and Why sat with Wooly. I was very up. cross. Hey, Tig, it's not nice being treated like a little girl just when you think you are a big and sensible girl. It's not nice being told what to do when you think you know everything. But just because you know how to cross a road safely doesn't mean that Daddy should let you do it all by yourself. Honk, honk, honk. beep, beep. Roads are busy places. Holding Daddy's hand lets him know you're safe. Holding Daddy's hand lets you know he's safe too. Then you can both look. Beep, beep. And listen without any worries. You can cross the road safely together. So go for it, Tig. Be clever and say sorry to Daddy and hold his hand all the way home. Beep, beep. Yes, I thought. I'll be clever. Sorry, Daddy. Oh. And say sorry to Daddy. Daddy and me chose a library book. The library lady got a shock when she saw Willy. <gasps> it's only a tight spider. I held Daddy's hand all the way home. I like to be safe. I love Willy. We've been together since we were three. Dobbin. When I was little, my auntie Shona worked at a riding school. There were horses at the riding school. Hi, Shona. I didn't like the horses. When I visited my auntie Shona, I stayed in the car. Hi, Tig. You're not coming to see the horses? No. Auntie Shona worked very hard at the stables, wheeling muck and stuff. Lovely. Teaching children to ride. Lovely girls. I liked my Auntie Shona. Willie liked my Auntie Shona too. One day we had some washing for Auntie Shona. I sat in the car. I didn't like horses. Hello, Tig. Then I saw a horse that I hadn't seen before. Who's that? Oh, that's Dobbin. The horse was very friendly. Bye, Shona. Bye. The next time we saw Shona, I said, Can I see Dobbin? Come on Dobbin. then, said Shona. Dobbin was gentle. Dobbin, Dobbin was friendly. So Dobbin let me him. stroke him. I like Dobbin. Dobbin was beautiful. Like I wasn't scared of horses anymore. I said hello to all the other horses. But I love Dobbin the best. One day I saw children riding horses. Can I ride Dobbin? Dobbin's too old to ride, said Shona. We have a new horse arriving next week. He's just the right size for you. Next week, when I arrived, I wanted to see Dobbin. Where's Dobbin? Where's Dobbin, I said. Dobbin isn't here just now. Dobbin isn't here, said Auntie Shona. Auntie Shona showed me my new riding hat. Where is Dobbin? Dobbin's gone away, said Shona. When can I see Dobbin again? I said. You won't be seeing Dobbin again. Dobbin died. But where did Dobbin go? I said. He went to sleep. Dobbin just went to sleep, said Shona. He was very happy. Right. Time so for your riding so lesson, said Shona. I don't want to go riding. Auntie I'm Shona sniffed I'll go and, and went to fetch Daddy. I was sad. 
I was very sad. Hey Tig, nothing wrong with feeling sad. Nothing wrong with crying. Auntie Shona is sad and she's crying. But hey, Dobbin is happy now. Dobbin had had a great life at the stables. Everyone loved him. But Dobbin was very old and his legs hurt him. But now there's no more hurt and he's happy. He's galloping away in his dreams. You'll never forget Dobbin. Dobbin helped you to like horses. And today, Dobbin is helping you for your very first riding lesson. So go for it, Tig. Feel sad, but happy for Dobbin. Whee! But most of all, have fun on your first riding lesson. Dobbin would love that. Yes, I thought. Dobbin showed me how to like horses and not be scared. Dobbin would want me to have fun riding on my very first horse. I put on my riding hat. Ready, I said. The new horse was called Topper. I like Topper. When Shona saw Wooly, she said, Ah! It's only a toy spider. He's only my toy spider, I said. I like riding Topper. I love Dobbin. And I love Wooly. We've been together since we were three. Rain. When I was little, Daddy took me in the car to play in the park. The car was very dirty. We'll have to take it to the car wash, said Dad. Willie came too. That's a good tag and you get. I'd never been to a car wash before. There you go. Thank you very much. Daddy made sure all the windows were closed. Right, that's us. Daddy drove into a big box machine with giant brushes. Suddenly, the brushes came towards us. I don't want to go in. I don't like this, I said. I think the cars get this hair washed. Cheer up, Tig, said Dad. It's like the car's having a hair wash. One rubber dubber. Two rubber dubber. Three rubber dubber. Four rubber dubber. Daddy was right. It was like a big hair wash with your eyes open. The big brushes word and rubber dubbed the car. Five rubber dubber. Six rubber dubber. And swoosh! The machine washed the shampoo off. Here comes the big hair dryer. A giant hair dryer dried the car all over. Daddy drove the car out of the car wash. The car looked all shiny and new. Daddy was so pleased. On the way to the park, it started to rain. Oh no, it's raining. At the park, we splashed through a puddle. Daddy wasn't pleased. Oh no, look at my car. The car wasn't shiny. Daddy was grumpy. Daddy and me ran to a cafe out of the rain. We'll just uh, wait here till the rain stops, OK? But Daddy was grumpy. Daddy just sat. He didn't even get me a drink. I drew a picture. Daddy was making me grumpy too. Hey, Tig, no need to be grumpy too. Daddy's just fed up, that's all. Daddy had a nice clean car and now it's all dirty again. Things didn't go quite how he wanted them to go. It rained, deary me. Daddy needs cheering up like he cheered you up in the car wash. One rubber dubber, two rubber dubber. Daddy is fed up with the rain. So show Daddy how Ray can be fun. Jumping puddles. Whee! Twirling umbrellas. 
catching raindrops and listening to the rubber dub dub sound of the rain on the roof. Go for it, Tig. Give Daddy a big smile. Yes, I thought. I'll cheer Daddy up. Wow. That is brilliant. Well done. Come on. Doesn't look as if the rain's going to stop. Come on, then. I'll show Daddy how to have fun in the rain. Oh, no. We jumped in puddles. We twirled our umbrellas. <laughs> we caught raindrops. Whoa, the rain. Come here. Quick, tag. We listened to the rubber dubba dubba of the rain on the roof. Whoa, whoa. It's a puddle monster. When Daddy saw Willie in a puddle, puddle he said, ah! Oh, only my toy spider, I said. Whoa, did you hear it, Luke? I like fun in the rain. I like to see my daddy happy. Your hand out like that. I love Willy. <laughs> We've been getting since we were me. The hat. Hi. Hello, parcel for Tig Jemison. When I was little, I got a parcel from Grandad. Inside the parcel was a hat. A sailor's hat. I love my sailor's hat. Willie likes my sailor's hat too. I wore my sailor's hat a lot. One day, Grandad told Mummy that we were going on a big adventure. Ah, a message from Grandad. We're going on a big adventure down a magical river. Wear your sailor's hat. Wear your sailor's hat, said Grandad. That would be cuddly. Grandad's big adventure was on a boat. I wore my sailor's hat. Wait for me! Grandad nearly missed the boat. Grandad wore a sailor's hat too. Got your hat on. Come aboard. The big boat rumbled and grumbled. Off we sailed on our big adventure. I think you'll find out. I'm the captain. No, I'm the captain. Can you say aye aye, sir? A man told us what everything was. And over on your right now, we have uh, the London Eye. Grandad made everything into a big adventure. We saw a wheel turning high in the sky. Spaceships spinning off to visit the clouds, said Grandad. We saw a tower of pointy glass. The Snow Queen's palace, said Grandad. We saw lots of boats, fast boats, Slow boats and a battleship. Grandad spotted a fairy tale boat. Look, there's Peter Pan sailing to Never Never Land, said Grandad. We went under lots of bridges. When we went under one bridge, it got very windy. Whoosh! My sailor hat blew off. Whoosh! Oh, my name. sailor hat was gone. Oh. It floated away. It almost had my hat. Had my hat, said Grandad. No. No, I wanted my hat. We'll go to the cafe and get a cup of tea. My sailor hat was gone forever. I was angry. I wanted my hat back. Well, your hat's gone, Tig. Well, uh, do you know what? I'll get you another one, will I? Do you want a glass of water? I missed my hat. I loved my hat. Hey, Tig, when you lose something you love, it can make you feel angry. When you lose something forever, it can make you feel sad too. But losing your hat was no one's fault. It was the wind. No one knows what the wind will do next. But hey, Tig, you are on a big adventure. Big adventures are like the wind. You never know what will happen next. Your hat blowing away was the most exciting part of your adventure. Your hat blowing away has made your adventure big. Remember, Tig, a hat is just a thing. You can always get another one. What matters most is that you and Grandad and Mummy are all having fun on your big adventure together. Go for it, Tig! Here we 
Yes, I thought. My hat was just the thing. You look a bit happier now. Losing my hat was my adventure. The Tower Bridge was opened in 1894. Upstairs, the man was still telling us what everything was. The man didn't know what Willy was. Well, it's only a toy I didn't miss my sailor set anymore. I just liked having my big adventure with my granddad. And I love Willy. We've been together since we were big. My favourite dinosaur. When I was little, I liked dinosaurs. I had some toy dinosaurs. I had a stegosaurus. Stegosaurus. I had a tyrannosaurus. Rhinoceros rex. And a triceratops. Triceratops. But my favourite dinosaur of all is my Diplodocus. Diplodocus. Willie really liked my Diplodocus too. I played with my dinosaurs a lot. At nursery school, I painted a big, big Diplodocus. I gave my Diplodocus lots of leaves to eat. My friend Louise liked dinosaurs too. Her favourite dinosaur was Tyrannosaurus. We played Tyrannosaurus games. One day, Mummy said, What's your favourite dinosaur tick? Diplodocus. Well, said Mummy, Grandad is going to take you to see a real Diplodocus. A real one? I was frightened. It's in a museum. It's millions of years old, so it's just bones. OK, just bones. Just bones didn't Love sound that. very exciting. But I wanted to see Grandad. We went to see Grandad and the Diplodocus at a museum. Grandad was waiting. I love my granddad. Let's get up these big steps. Big dinosaur jumps up. Let's go inside and see a real Diplodocus dinosaur. Hey, granddad. Wow. Oh, uh, no. There was a dinosaur. There was a Diplodocus. It was real. It was big. It was bigger than me. It was too big. I was scared. What do you think, Tig? A real Diplodocus? Come on, Tig. Let's go and look at something smaller first. Come on, Tig, said Mummy. Maybe we should look at something smaller. Mummy took me to a room full of bones. Mummy looked at the bones. I was scared. There was no roaring. But what if the Diplodocus sat on Grandad? Hey, Tig. Big, strange things are scary. But this big, strange Diplodocus dinosaur is just a lot of old bones. Just a lot of old bones like these ones, only much bigger. A lot of old bones strung together to show what a Diplodocus looked like millions of years ago. So this Diplodocus dinosaur won't stomp or roar or sit on Grandad. This Diplodocus is just for you to look at. So now you know that the scary Diplodocus dinosaur is just a load of old bones. There's no need to be scared anymore. Go for it, Tig. Have another look at your favourite dinosaur. Yes, I thought. I want to look at my favourite dinosaur again. I crept up in Grandad's. I was pleased he hadn't been sat on. Just you! I thought it was a dinosaur come to life. <laughs> Grandad and me looked around the big, big dinosaur. Roar! It was just old bones. When I showed Willy to the Diplodocus, it looked a little scared. Don't stomp away, I said. He's only my toy spider. I like Diplodocus. It's my favourite dinosaur. But I love Willy. I love Willy and Willy loves me. We 